Good morning, folks. For those who haven't heard, last month was the warmest March ever. 2011 was wild with nearly 15,000 weather records broken. As you can see, we did that in March with temperatures alone. And while most of you have heard about the feet of hail that poured onto Texas two days ago, you might not have heard about similar incidents in eastern China decimating agriculture and infrastructure. Provoked rage has the video. Add Germany to the list of countries not getting any more Iranian oil, along with Spain and Greece. You surely know by now the North Korean rocket failed. I'll link some Chinese source reports below and we'll come back to this topic in a moment. China's economy is going under the radar for many of you, and it's a critical juncture, I'd read up. And folks, when it happens to you, you will know what the deal is. The story is just breaking now, so I don't know how many of my fellow Columbus residents heard this, uh, but it, there were at least some. You can read the comments below if you don't believe me, but there's a big difference between a sonic boom and a deep, lasting rumble. This was no jet. Looking at the alert map, we had a larger than average quake way up north. There are children in northwest Queensland contracting a potentially deadly form of meningitis. There was an unusually large quake south of the massive swarm from the 11th. In Ghana, there was a giant wave impact that caused damage and death back at the end of March, but we are just finding about this now. The Etna volcano in Italy erupted yesterday. A benzene leak at an oil refinery in Texas is being contained, and Haiti faces yet another potential cholera outbreak. This is what the sun looked like four days ago when the coronal hole blasted a solar wind stream on steroids at Earth. As postulated yesterday morning, the impact was early and has sparked a magnetic storm around the Earth. This right here is when those geniuses in North Korea decided to launch. <laughs> You can see here just how big of a change in solar wind speed we had. The Fluxgate magnetometer shows the disturbance along with the induction magnetometer. That disturbance allowed solar plasma to penetrate our magnetosphere. That uh, put the red line above the blue here. And boy is that visible on the Ovation Prime. Significant electrons and ions bombarding the Earth. We also have to start thinking about flares and CMEs again. This central region has developed significantly, and if the red and blue become any more intermingled, the instability show will begin. We also have a region of interest up here on the northeastern limb. The Earth footprint is sitting right on top of her. As you know, folks, Saturn is approaching opposition, and we have had significant space weather. We're in the middle of it now. When this coronal hole stream dies down, the quake watch will be at its peak. That's the news, everyone. Be safe.